gun smoke. I grew up watching westerns on TV. Gunsmoke, Wagon Train, Bonanza, Wild Wild West, on and on. The westerns were great, so I uh, always had a fascination with six shooters. So today we're going to learn more about them and play more about them. <laughs> Cue the intro. This is an 1858 uh, Remington reproduction. Now, the uh, should we know that the earliest revolvers were actually made in the 16th century? That's the 1500s uh, from Germany. First ones were a rifle that had a revolving cylinder, but well, they were like flintlock based. The revolvers that we think of today actually started with Samuel Colt. He received his patent uh, for his first revolving handgun mechanism. By 1855, Colt was the largest, the world's largest, private armament factory. The Remington Beals model revolvers were percussion revolvers manufactured by Eliphalet Remington and Sons. They made them in uh, 31 caliber, called the Pocket uh, 36, which is called the Navy and the 44 caliber, which is the Army, and this is, follows that tradition. This is a Remington. But the wide-scale production for, for the Colts didn't occur until 1861. There was a Colt factory fire in 1864 that caused the U.S. Army to start buying Remingtons, though at the time they were more expensive. The Remington 18, 1858, which is what this is, this is a sheriff's model of it. It has the shorter barrel was preferred for its ruggedness at the end of the Civil War. Uh, at the end of the Civil War, the majority of the returning Union Army, they'd trade in their Colts for the Remingtons because they were, you know, more robust. In 1854, Eugene Lafouche, if I'm pronouncing it properly, introduced the Lafouche Model 1854. It was the first revolver to use self-contained metallic cartridges. By 1869, the patent had expired and other manufacturers joined suit with Colt, producing the 1872, and other manufacturers did produce similar. So, you know, most of the westerns we see, this is a black powder. You can see the uh, powder, the nipples on there. It's for percussion, so it used percussion caps. So this has to be loaded with the powder, put the ball in, you know, powder, wadding, ball, and then you have to put a percussion cap over the end. So this was in 1858. It was the 1870s models by that time. Most of the Western show the 1870s models with the what they would call cowboy loads today. They're a 44, 45 caliber load. And in fact, uh, those are actually still black powder. And you have to be careful to not load them with, with newer powders. Sadly, in our society today, many are gun-phobic. Cue the slide! You're speaking! You're surrounded! There is no chance to escape! Come out with your hands up! Colonel Clink! Get the gun! Fire! You know, there's some states where you could legally carry, like, uh, I, I believe Idaho, I know Texas, some others, you could legally carry your handgun out on your belt, but too many people just freak out. <gasps> oh, oh, he's got a gun! Oh. You know, they'll run and call the police. They'll call, you know, they just they just get all whacked out on it. That's a tool, like any other tool, you know. Oh, he's carrying a bandsaw! Oh, let's call the police! It should be known that a, a black powder firearm you can actually get without NFA. 
it's uh, unregistered. They're, they're a little slow to load, as you'll see in the video. Um, you, you slowly get the hang of it, but uh, not as quick as cartridges. Now these can be converted. You can get cylinders for them and convert them into uh, cartridge weapons. Still the percussion, 1858 Remington. Sweet. So now we're gonna cue the rest of the video. We're gonna get out and suns came up. RA and RW. And we're gonna get out and uh, use this bad boy. Flows. Okay, and then you flip this over like so, and then you're just going to fill the, each chamber consecutively. Okay. I can't imagine trying to do these things in the field. Just a minute while I'm reloading. <laughs> I'm reloading. Just be careful not to double load any of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Yeah. RW. Same target. Dude, he nailed it. Oh, I passed it. Let's get it. Smokes. <laughs> he killed it. Same target? No. Two. Nice shot, RA. Oh, two points! <laughs> Deducted, though. <laughs> Same shot. Go for the small can on the stump to the right. It's a miss. First miss of the day. I go for the green can on the left of the stump. Oh, I moved. Must have got it. Boom can. Then you got it. Go for the green can. Hmm. The left on the stump. Got it. So we'll bother job. At Dad's house.
Got it. We got it? Yep. Nailed it. Boom camp. Nice. Dare you to take it off mute and shoot. What about it? <laughs> you know what I think about that? So it wasn't me. What was that? <laughs> I'm the only one on the conference line. Everybody else is in a room. <laughs> So that's the last one? Yeah, that's the last one. Winged it. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo, hit it. Sparking something. Woohoo, hit it. Winged it. Thanks for joining our Black Powder shooting extravaganza. Ostala projectile.